I know it's not fair. Again and again and again and again, science is saying the same thing. What's commonly known as a slow metabolism, hormonal issue, firing gut microbiome, or insulin sensitivity, is actually you're eating too much. There's no denying it, calories do count. Most of my clients don't like counting calories. With this in mind, I encourage them to eat according to their appetite. However, this is fraught with danger. If they have a preference for ultra processed food, then it can be quite tricky to control their appetite. That's not to say that processed foods eating in moderation makes <coughs> They don't. Eating too much of anything makes <coughs> But this study, which compared ultra processed foods to unprocessed foods, gives us a highlight of exactly what the problem is. When people are allowed unlimited access to ultra processed foods, they eat 508 calories a day more. That's pretty substantial. To put it into context, most of my 40 year old female clients who train three times a week lose weight on 1400 calories a day. One day of overeating with ultra processed food can ruin that deficit. It's easy to say a little bit won't hurt or I'll start again on Monday or I've fallen off the wagon. But one day like this can make all the difference between losing weight and not losing weight. And that's why what you eat is important. There's a level of satiety when eating unprocessed foods. Like I said, you can lose weight on ultra processed foods, but you're gonna to need to be super disciplined to moderate the portion size. That's not to mention the fluctuations in mood, energy and appetite. That's why if you are trying to lose weight without counting calories on MyFitnessPal and you're trying to eat according to your appetite, you're better off sticking to minimally processed foods and unprocessed foods. You'll be able to lose weight and it'll be more sustainable.